Hello. Um, today I'm going to go over how to create a Instagram widget through Light Widget um, and then install that on your show it site. Um, I recommend Light Widget uh, for an Instagram feed that automatically updates. Um, they have a one time $10 fee. Um, for an upgraded widget, um, it's not monthly, it's just one time, and I've never had any problems with them, and they are great. So I already have one installed here, you can see, and what this is going to be doing is utilizing the embed code feature. So I'm going to walk you through how I do this in Light Widget, and then reinstall this on my own page, just to show you how I can kind of go along and do that. All right, so I am at lightwidget.com, um, which shows you this main um, placeholder here. So we're going to log in with Instagram on desktop, which you'll probably have to log in um, to your own account, or if you're log logging into a client's account, um, you may need them to send you a security code um, or something like that. They are pretty good about that. Um, so the next step is setting up your widget here. Um, they have a nice preview uh, right here. I have mine set up here as one, two, four across. Um, so the way that we would do that is you can do it by columns and rows. So this would be four columns and one row. And then you can scroll down and preview it. And you can see here now that's four across and just the single row. Um, you can add different things. There's hover effects, there is extra padding, um, original versus square formats. Um, you can add custom CSS and lazy load if you'd like. I usually drag this to be a little bit larger here. And actually I might change mine to be five. Great, so now it's showing five. And then what you would do is get the code. And instead of uh, copying this, you would go through and upgrade the widget. You would go through this uh, step. Uh, mine is already upgraded, so I'm going to show you how to also um, update an already upgraded widget. Um, so you would go through this process, and it would send you back to this um, the code generating page uh, for you then to copy that. Then you're gonna put it into your embed code here and then it should pop up. Um, but I am going to go to my light widget account here and go to my widgets. And I already have an upgraded one here. Let's see what this looks like. So this you can see is four across. So you're gonna, if you wanna ever edit one that's already upgraded, this is how you're going to do that. So I'm going to change this to five. There it goes. Cool. Right, I'm going to save the changes there. And just to show you how I do this, I'm going to delete this one out. Now I'm going to copy this, go back in here, and then we're going to come down to um, the middle little icon here, click on embed code, double click here, paste that in there, and it pops up. Then you can resize it. I usually do that just for spacing, and then I'm, I'm clicking shift and dragging this to make it bigger. Circling it here, and then I'm just going to I have a black box behind it just to make it a little bit more designed. And then, of course, as you know, um, when we preview this on the live page or on the preview page, um, depending on how wide your screen is, um, it is not going to stretch out. So if you wanted this to always have go all the way across, you would need to set the amount of pictures to be more than what shows on the preview. Um, so that looks good. I'm going to check this on mobile now. 
So it looks like it's a little small here. Just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Looks good. Great, okay. Now I'm gonna hit publish. And we are going to check this out live. Perfect. So now these have nice little features and when you click through, it's gonna to go to your Instagram page instead of the widgets um, website. And that is literally it. All right guys, hope you have a great day.